What is going on guys, this is SSN Santa here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new video. We're going to be talking about the new game mode that's coming to Modern Combat 5 in Update 11 called Conquest and Kill. Basically, in this game mode, it is you have to capture points as a team, and it's in a sudden death mode, so you only have one life throughout the entire match, and it's best out of five matches, so you'll respawn at the beginning of the next round. And basically, there are quite a few points altogether. There's the main objective point that you can capture to win, and if you don't capture that, you can either kill the other team to win as well. And then there's also other small points around the map that are called secondary objective points where you can collect intel which is a currency that you can use to buy perks that you can get at the end, at the beginning of each round and you only have 15 seconds to buy those. And there's nine of those all together which I'm going to be talking about right now. So the first one we have toughen up which gives you an HP increase by 30 which means that if you're wearing paragon you're going to have like 170 HP all together which is a little OP and um, I'm sure that's going to be used a lot, probably overused throughout the entire game and then we have stopping power which is 35% more damage inflicted onto somebody so if you have a low damage weapon that's good to have then we have quick cap which allows you to capture a point 15% or 50% um, faster than normal so I'm guessing that you can combine the Izignagi mass with that and get a really OP fast um, capture since it's 50% plus the Izignagi mass that allows you to capture points really quick and then next we have Field Medic, which allows you to regenerate your health 50% quicker. So if you combine that with the HP of 30, you could actually do really well and survive. Next we have the Eagle Eye, which gives you extra accuracy by 30%. I would recommend using this for shotguns and the Maelstrom or any gun that is not very accurate up close or far away. Then next we have the Neck Guard, which allows you to be immune to knifing, and that's going to be really good up close quarters and then we have body armor which gives you reduced damage from people um, and their inflicted damage by 20% and that is actually really really good to have as well in a game mode of sudden death then we have far shot which gives you a 50% range increase and lastly quick fingers which allows you to reload 50% times faster which I would highly recommend using um, for T7 guns like the Brampson the PR39 and then also guns like the Impus where all the fire rate is just really, really slow. And like I said, guys, there's nine of those all together. And you use Intel you get at secondary capture points in order to get those. They're, they're an average of 40 or something each. And when you capture secondary points, you get 40 Intel. And each kill you get gives you 10, um, 10 Intels. And basically that is pretty good to get a quick amount of those in order to get perks at the beginning of each match. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay and the video. I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out guys.